Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm glad you could join me today. This is Terry from Terry'sCraftRoom.com. Today we're gonna make this adorable Valentine. Don't don't tell my husband because this one's for him. So but we're gonna make one that's not that doesn't say for my husband because I don't need a second one um, that says that. So we're gonna use the the um, Love and Happiness Bundle. It's got all these wonderful sa sentiments in just beautiful fonts. And you can bundle it with the um, Bouquet of Love Dyes and Hybrid Embossing Folder. And if you look, I'll put a direct link to the YouTube video on how to use these hybrid embossing, embossing folders. Because um, I just put another video up just recently on how to use these. They're just wonderful. So let's get started. So what we need is a regular card base, eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. Okay, we'll set that aside. We need a piece of real red cardstock for matting that is five and a quarter by four. And then we need a piece of Whisper White that is five and an eighth by three and seven eighths for, for our card front. And then I still have some of the um, velvet red, uh, red velvet uh, cardstock. And I'm going to use that. If you don't have this, you can certainly use real red cardstock. Same thing no problem. Um, okay, so we're going to use our hybrid embossing folder. Let's get our die out. And what I've done to make this a little easier to line up, because I have a class for this coming up, is on the back of my folder I've taken some washi tape and I've just um, marked with the washi tape where this should line up. That'll just make it easier for when I put the heart in, I line my paper up. I close up and everything should be right in the spots that I want them. And I'm going to go over and run this through the stamp, the stamp and cut and emboss machine, and I'll be right back. And here we are. Our our paper's cut out. We're right exactly where we want it. This we can save for another project later. And there we are. So the next thing we need to do is let me get a piece of scrap paper in here and we're going to sponge up our edges. Now anytime you start sponging you want to start off your paper and there we go just that simple. These new uh, these new blending brushes are just wonderful. So there we have our card front sponged and here's our heart let's I'm going to stamp my greeting on here I'm just gonna put Valentine's greetings just like that and I think I'm gonna have to turn that over because I got a little there we go. Always remember there's two sides to every sheet of cardstock. So, and then I'm going to take this piece out of my die set and cut that out. And I'll be right back. And here we go. I'm back. And the other thing I did while I was g gone was out of the die set. 
I took three of these flowers right here and cut those out from my uh, my heart paper my velvet paper and it didn't matter that this was already um, embossed when I sent it through it kind of squished it flat so okay we have all our pieces and parts ready I've made a bow right there so let's bring our card base back in and we're going to just glue up our our card front here and layer it onto our real red. There we go. Now this piece I'm going to pop. So I need some dimensionals. And I'm a fan of using quite a few dimensionals because I want them dimensional, dimensioned. I don't want them to flatten out. In fact, I might put one more there in the middle so it doesn't flatten out in the middle. And I'm just going to set this right down as an inlay. Okay, and then I have a couple dimensionals for my sentiment. Once you get all the pieces and parts cut out, it this card goes together pretty quickly. Okay. And then this I'm going to put down flat because I've already got dimension with the heart and the sentiment. You could dimension this part too. Okay, and the last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take some well, not the last thing. I'm going to put a pearl there and a pearl, a smaller pearl on the greeting. I'm going to get a, a glue dot. If I can find where they end. Stick that right there on the heart. And then for the inside, that's what there these three little flowers come in. I'm just going to put these three flowers down on the inside. And there we have a Valentine's card. There we go. I hope you enjoyed today's card. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and like my like and subscribe to this video. Um, I'll have a as always. I'll have a blog post over at terryscraftroom.com. I will have a direct link down in the description box to, dairy, to this blog post so that you can um, see all, a list of all the supplies. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!